I'm Sarah. Welcome to The Daily English Show. On Tuesdays, we study a movie, and today's movie is called Housebound. Housebound is a New Zealand comedy horror film that came out last year. I saw it at the Civic here in Auckland when it was on during the film festival, and I think it was pretty much sold out, and my seat was near the front and right at the end of the row, so the screen was really warped, and I had to look at it like this. But despite that, I really enjoyed the film and I recommend watching it if you can. Let's take a look at some of the language and the scenes they show in the trailer. There's a scene where a woman is talking to a police officer and he asks her, So, are you happy to proceed with the story that Mr. McRandall was attacked by a vengeful ghost? Vengeful is an adjective which means seeking to harm someone in return for a perceived injury. The noun is vengeance, which means basically the same thing as revenge. The words have slightly different nuances and are used in different phrases. You may have heard the phrase, success is the best revenge. One of my favorite quotes from the TV show Suits is when a character called Donna says to Lois, success is the best revenge, and he replies, bullshit. Revenge is the best revenge. Getting back to the movie, after the woman confirms that she thinks that Mr. McRandall was attacked by a vengeful ghost, the officer says, Righto. Righto is used to convey agreement, understanding, or acceptance. It means okay or alright. Righto is British English, and I don't think it's used in the United States. Here in New Zealand, it's a little old-fashioned. I wouldn't be surprised to hear someone in their 70s or 80s using it, but I would definitely be surprised to hear a teenager say, Righto. Kia ora, in stick news today, a Korean woman was attacked in her sleep by a vacuum cleaner. In January, a 52-year-old woman was taking a nap on the floor of her home in South Korea when she was attacked by her robot vacuum cleaner. She was unable to free herself, so she called emergency services. Paramedics freed the woman and she escaped serious injury. And that was Stick News for Tuesday the 3rd of March. Kia ora. Today's word is fancy. Fancy is an adjective which means expensive, complex, or sophisticated. For example, I went to a fancy restaurant on my birthday, or their kitchen is full of fancy gadgets. In the movie, a girl called Kylie gets sentenced to home detention at her mother's house, and when she's getting her ankle bracelet fitted, her mother says, Gosh, that's high-tech, isn't it? Aren't you lucky, Kylie, having all that fancy technology on your foot? So by using the word fancy here, she means expensive or sophisticated technology. If you want to see some really fancy things, you could check out fancy.com. And then cry, because you don't have thousands of dollars to spend on all the beautiful things you see. So, are you happy to proceed with the story that Mr. McRandall was attacked by a vengeful ghost? Righto. Yes. A or B? A. Success is the best revenge. B. Success is the best vengeance. Success is the best revenge. A. I will strike down upon thee with great revenge. B. I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance. I will strike down upon thee with great vengeance. A. 
90s fashion is back with a revenge. B. 90s fashion is back with a vengeance. 90s fashion is back with a vengeance. A. France conquered, all blacks seek England revenge. B. France conquered, all blacks seek England vengeance. France conquered, all blacks seek England revenge. A. Die hard with a revenge. B. Die hard with a vengeance. Die hard with a vengeance. And that was The Daily English Show. See you tomorrow. Bye.